Nicola Sturgeon could see the value of major Scottish companies fall by billions of pounds just like during the first independence referendum campaign. The Scottish First Minister's handling of the coronavirus crisis has won over swathes of Labour and Tory voters, according to a new poll. A survey conducted by Savanta Com Res showed Ms Sturgeon's personal ratings are up, with 76% of voters believing her to be intelligent, an increase of three points. Around 74% of respondents said she is a strong leader, also up three points, and 57% believe she is genuine, up two points. More than a third of 2019 Labour voters said the Scottish National Party SNP's response to the pandemic means they are now more likely to vote for the party in the Holyrood election in May, with 13% of 2019 Tory voters claiming the same. Meanwhile, a majority of Scots continue to support Scottish independence, with the latest survey putting support for yes at 57% and no at 43%. Ms Sturgeon has recently revealed she wants to hold a second referendum on independence in the early part of the next Scottish parliamentary term. If the First Minister succeeds and a campaign for an Indiref 2 begins, though, she could see the value of major Scottish companies fall by billions of pounds, just like in 2014. Seven years ago, the stock market was spooked by polling giving the yes vote a lead ahead of the referendum. In September 2014, a YouGov poll found Yes had a narrow lead in the independence campaign. As a result, traders reacted by sharply downgrading shares in major Scottish companies. Edinburgh registered Lloyd's Banking Group, which owns Bank of Scotland, was the worst hit, with shares falling by £1.7 billion, or 3.3% by lunchtime. Shares in RBS fell by 2.8%, or £1.1 billion, while the energy giant SSE's shares lost 2.7%, or £400 million. Currency market jitters over the impact of a yes also intensified in the wake of the YouGov poll, with the value of the pound falling almost 2 cents against the US dollar to $1.614, a 10-month low. Ms Sturgeon, who at the time was the SNP's deputy leader, blamed the government for the fluctuations in sterling because it had refused to have sensible discussions about a formal deal to share the pound if there was a yes vote. She told BBC Radio Scotland, it's not unusual in political campaigns, or indeed on budget days, for the value of the pound to fluctuate. I think that would suggest that the financial markets see Scotland as a strong economy.